But a lot of us on this committee represent parts of the city that are growing and where we have said that we want to concentrate growth in the future. And I think I will go as far as to say it's irresponsible for the city to do that without the safety improvements that will keep our current and future constituents safe. Because if, you know, there's an iterative um, result. So if people try walking in their community and feel terrified and unsafe or know someone who got hit by a car or got hit by a car themselves, uh, they're not going to walk when they have another choice. So many of our constituents don't have a choice, but those that do um, will choose to drive. And so when you add hundreds or thousands of new people, and therefore thousands and thousands of new trips into a neighborhood that's already densely populated and it's unsafe to bike or walk, um, people will drive. And so you've made our streets even less safe for those people who don't have a choice or who are choosing to walk and bike. So I mean, I think it is our responsibility as a city when we are creating neighborhoods where we're adding significant population over a very short period of time to make sure that we have the infrastructure in place to make sure that people feel safe to get around and from there, you know, to meet all of the other goals that led to us um, wanting to concentrate our population along transit corridors in the first place, climate change goals, um, health goals, livability goals that lead us to want people to feel safe and be able to choose to walk and bike and take transit. But I know for a lot of my constituents, um, they don't feel safe. And up until very recently, when housing costs started going up so quickly that now we hear the most about that, the number one reason that people call my office is speeding traffic on their streets. And it's a value choice. You know, Is it going to take three more minutes to drive to work or wherever versus do people feel safe in their community? Are they able to actually make these choices for real? Um, so I think this plan is so important to not only our transportation goals, but all of those collective goals and making sure that people, um, you know, that we're being responsible as a public entity in creating neighborhoods that people feel safe in and are safe in and want to be in.